Hello, my name is Jason from septictank.co.uk and in today's live broadcast I'm going to show you how you can literally save thousands and thousands of pounds without having to relocate or replace your septic tank. And um, why am I mentioning that? Well, because as you probably know by now, on the 1st of January 2020, all the rules and regulations are changing for septic tank owners across the UK. This is stressing a lot of um, septic tank owners out, making a lot of them angry, a lot of them worried, a lot of them concerned. Well, as I said, the whole point of this live broadcast is because I'm going to share some very, very good news with you. Okay, full stop. So, if you're a septic tank owner, then this live broadcast is very, very important, and you should watch it. So, I'm going to get straight to the point. Okay, so, let me just rewind a bit, because many septic tank owners don't know what's happening on the 1st of Jan 2020. So, let me just start off by saying this. On the 1st of Jan, January rather, 2020, the UK government are bringing into force new rules and regulations for septic tank owners. So let me first start by saying what isn't going to happen. It's called, many people are calling this new legislation the septic tank ban, right? The septic tank ban. It's actually called the general Binding rules. That's what it's actually called. The general binding rules. So if you want to know more information about this, then literally just go onto the government website, um, .gov, type in general binding rules, and you get tons of information on that. But I'm going to summarize it all and make it really simple for you to understand, make it really easy for you to digest. So on the 1st of January 2020, all these new rules and regulations are coming into force. So what does it mean? Does it mean that all septic tanks across the UK are going to be banned? No, it doesn't mean that. Full stop. So if you're a septic tank owner, be rest assured, okay, <laughs> that not all septic tanks up and down the country are going to be banned. All right. So what are the general binding rules all about? How will it affect you? How will it affect me? if we're septic tank owners. Well, let me show you. All right, so it's called the general binding rules because the rules that are coming into force are binding. And primarily, first of all, they will affect anyone who's got a septic tank near a water course. What do I mean by this? Well, let me show you. All right, so here's a house, typical house, right? Could be a one, two, three, four bedroom house. It could be a semi-detached house, could be a detached house, doesn't matter. The point is, if your house, if your bungalow, whatever you've got, is attached to a septic tank, and so here's the septic tank here, all right? I'm gonna, uh, oops, so let's call this a septic tank. And um, let me just show you what, if you, maybe you're buying a house that's got a septic tank, maybe you don't know what a septic tank is. Well, let me show you, right? So all the waste property, it, all right, in a town or a city, everyone's connected to the main sewers. So they don't normally think about sewage and stuff like that. If you're not connected to the main sewage, you've got to have a septic tank, all right? So septic tanks basically are... <laughs> the main sewers. They are your main sewers, right? All right, the difference is they don't go to like a sewage treatment plant somewhere on the edge of the city or the town. <laughs> this is your sewage treatment plant. All right, so basically all the wastewater from your property, from your washing machine, from your dishwasher, from your bath, from your shower, from your bidet, everything, right, comes out of your house. It travels down this pipe here and it fills the septic tank up. All right, so the septic tank is full of poo and wee. All right, just let's cut straight to the chase there. All right, it's full of poo and wee. Horrible, stinky, smelly stuff. All right, now many septic tanks in the past were installed in such a way 
that all the waste left the house, it went into the septic tank, and then this pipe here allows the water from the septic tank when it reaches a certain height to drain away. Right. In many cases, many people have got a soak away, but many septic tank owners, their septic tank pipe discharges straight into a river or a stream or, or a brook or a culvert. Now, so whether you've got a dry ditch at the end of your garden that all the septic tank discharges into, whether it's a brook, a river, a stream, that is what the government are making. This is what the government are making illegal from the 1st of Jan 2020. That, <clears throat> exactly that, is what is becoming illegal. Full stop. So if your septic tank discharges into a stream, into a watercourse, or, or, let's say it doesn't directly discharge into the watercourse, but it's close. Let's say your soak away here. Let's say your soak away is close <clears throat> to the soak away. It may not directly discharge into it. Let's say it's close to the soak away. Then it will also become illegal on the 1st of January 2020. So that is basically what the septic tank ban is all about. Why is it called the septic tank ban? Because government inspectors are going round houses whose septic tanks discharge into watercourses. They will be coming round to your house, to my house. If our house discharges into a, into a watercourse, they will come round, give us a visit. I don't know exactly when, but after the 1st of January 2020, they will be round. And if they find that your septic tank is discharging into a watercourse, they will ban you, stop you from using it. They'll make you dis decommission it until you fix the problem. So the main reason the government is bringing in this law is because what happens is raw sewage, as you know, poo and wee, right, leaves a property, goes into the septic tank, and raw sewage goes straight from the septic tank into the watercourse. That is why it's becoming illegal. Full stop. I mean, if your neighbour lived upstream from you and you had kids and you had a stream running through your garden or at the bottom of the garden and there was someone else's poo and wee travelling down it that the kids were paddling it, paddling in it, I mean, you wouldn't like that. The government doesn't like it and that's why they're bringing in all these rules and regulations and their changes. All right, so that is the bad news. Now, I promised you, didn't I, some good news in all of this. I promised you some good news. So let me show you the good news. All right, so here we go. Let me just do that and do this. All right, so <clears throat> as I said, that's stressing many people out. All right, so at this point, you've normally got three options. Three options. Let me show you what they are. And people are ringing me up all the time now telling me that this is the case. So um, I knew it anyway, but it, it's confirmed that option one, let me show you what your options will be. Number one, okay. You can relocate your septic tank and your soak away. So let me just put this on here again. Uh, I've just rubbed the names off. So this is uh, your septic tank. So let me just put this on. All right, so septic tank. And let's put this is your soak away, soak away pipe. All right, there you go. <clears throat> All right, so option one. So here's your options here. Options. Can we still see that on the screen? Yes, we can. Option one. You can. relocate your septic tank and your soak away okay you could do that and that seems quite a logical reasonable solution a good option and, and it is in some cases don't get me wrong all right 
but, all right, so number one, you've got to have the space to do so. So that means you have to decommission your septic tank and soak away and relocate it to a completely different part of your garden that's well away, that's well away from, if I put this here, well away from this water course here. <coughs> all right, that's option number one. So the down, so that's a good, as I said, that's a good option. But the downside is it can be a lot of hassle and it can be a lot of expense. So to relocate your, your silk away could cost you anywhere from like, let's say 10 to 15,000 pounds in costs, right? Relocation costs, okay? So that's option number one. Number two, option number two. And, again, and this option that I'm about to give you is probably more popular than option number one. And that is, you could put an electric biodigester into your garden. So <clears throat> you could decommission all that, dig it all out and put an electric biodigester in here instead. And what a biodigester is, <clears throat> it's got uh, compressors and motors and pulleys and bearings and shafts and cables and wires. But you know, it's like it's like um, it's like a big aquarium. And so all your raw sewage would go into it. It then chops and churns and bubbles and ferments, and it turns raw sewage into a legal safe discharge and they're very very good there's a, there's a there's many different electric ones to choose from okay so again a good solution but the downside is it's going to cost you anywhere from 15 <laughs> you're right 15 to 25,000 quid that's a hell of a lot of money plus right plus right you get an electricity bill, electricity bill of about 1500 quid a year. So while electric sewage treatments, biodigesters are good, and I'm not saying that, I'm not demonizing them, you just got to prepare yourself for 1500 quid a year electricity bills, plus you've got to spend for minimum 250. 350 quid a year to get them serviced. That's when this law kicks in. You have to get them serviced each year by an approved uh, servicer. So if you consider that over five years, that's like going to be fame an hour. I mean, five, six, about seven and a half thousand quid, 15 grand every 10 years to sustain that. But anyway, look, these are your options, right? Option one, you can relocate it. Option two, uh, biodigester. The common denominator is the good options, the good solutions, but you've got to fork out a load of money. I said I'm going to give you some good news. I'm going to offer you another solution right now, which you can take it, you can leave it, but nevertheless, it's an option. It's my favourite. It's it's my pers it's my personal favourite option, and uh, for two reasons, right? You could just put right. A septic tank converter in. It's as simple as that. Now you're probably wondering, a septic tank what? A septic tank converter. That's what they're called. Septic tank converter. And they're very, very clever. They're government approved. The government love them. They're certified by UK building regs, by the environmental agency. And where they go is here. All right, what you just do, and they're really easy to install, right? So let me show you the pros and the cons of the septic tank converter, all right? Okay, let me just get my, my rubber here. All right, so the septic tank converter goes there. And basically you dig a little hole, you put this septic tank converter in, they're non-electric, so they don't run on electric. They haven't got any cogs or bearings or pulleys or motors or anything like that, right? You put it there, so all the raw sewage goes into the septic tank as normal. You can leave your septic tank there. 
you dig a small hole. You put the pipe from the septic tank into the septic tank converter, and the pipe from the septic tank converter carries on straight to the stream. All right. All the yucky stuff goes into here. Into here. The septic tank converter converts raw sewage into safe, clean, organic wastewater. All right. So it's clean, it treats it and purifies it to such a degree where it becomes safe. So it's safe for the environment, it's safe for your family, there's no more smells, and, uh, and it can go straight. And it's like an organic, um, I would call it like an organic liquid fertilizer, I suppose, that comes out. And that goes straight into the ditch, putting minerals and stuff like that back into the environment instead of polluting it. Now you're probably asking how much does this septic tank converter cost? Well, let me show you. At the moment, I've got an offer on, and they're 2999 So, worst case scenario, you're going to save £7,000. In reality, you're going to save twelve to flip in 22,000 quid. And you can put it in in three hours. You or your builder, right, can literally put it in yourself within two to three hours because it's government approved um, it's just what else can I say this is why I'm so passionate about them so those are the pros what is what's the cons of the septic tank verter I can't think of any the only con and the downside is is that it's doing uh, companies who make lots of money for a living installing sewage systems um, it's taking I suppose money out of their pocket so it's saving it's saving you twelve to fifteen to twenty two thousand quid, and uh, yeah, I suppose it's doing them out huge, you know, sums of profit. So that's the downside. But in reality, it's not a downside because they could put a septic tank converter in for you. But in reality, right, if this was my house and my house was going into uh, my septic tank was discharging into a stream, I'd just get a government approved septic tank converter. It's as simple as that. Uh, there's really nothing else to say about it other than that. So, as I said, if your septic tank is near to a stream or discharges into a stream, on the 1st of Jan 2020, it becomes illegal, whether you like it or not. Okay. As it stands, you've probably got four options. Number one, you could do nothing. You could just think, I'm not been changing my septic tank and doing all this and doing all that, which is fine. That's entirely up to you. I'm just going to take a chance and wait till the Ribbon government come round and yes, all right, and you know they can fine and prosecute me. I don't care. Okay, so you could do that. That's fine. Number two, uh, number number two, yeah, you could relocate your septic tank and so on. You put it somewhere else on your land. If you've got a small garden, obviously you can't do that, so it's not really an option. But if you've got the space, you can spend 10, 15, 20,000 quid and put your septic tank and soak away somewhere else. Option number three, you could install one of those big electric biodigesters, which will do the job. It will fix the job for you. It will make your system fully legal. But <laughs> it's at a cost. You're going to have to spend 15 to 25,000 quid to do it. And you've got electricity bill of 1,500 quid a year plus 300 quid. So almost two grand a year in just like maintenance costs. And, you know, someone emailed me the other day saying, oh, it's not, you know, I don't charge 25,000. I charge just under 10,000. And I said, yeah, okay, that's great. That's really good. But I said, the septic tank converters are 2,999. So, you know, that's fine. So this is why they're popular because people can... <laughs> The and that was his lowest price, 10,000 quid. The guy who's installing, you know, uh, biodigesters for people relocating them. But the septic tank converter is still 7,000 quid cheaper than, than the cheapest quote that people are getting. So this is my point. The third option, right, is a septic tank converter. They're small, they don't need any electricity. They just literally dig a small hole next to your septic tank, put it in, slot the pipe in, slot the pipe out, put the soil back in around it, job done. They're 2999, so they're, at a minimum, you're gonna save 7,000 quid. Worst case scenario, best case scenario, you're gonna save 22,000. So that is what the septic tank ban is all about. 
that those are your options there and um, yeah so that is the good news that I wanted to share with you um, and so if you'd like more information on right uh, the septic tank converter all you need to do is go to septic tank uk septic tank uk there's loads of free videos there I've done loads of free information and free advice you can find there on the uh, septic tank converter I think it's like one of the um, third or fourth uh, products down on the page but the point is not everyone will need a septic tank converter but as I said if you are in that scenario where you are close to a river or close to a stream, as I said, you've got your four options. Just ignore it, relocate your septic tank, put in an electric digester or get a septic tank converter, and that's it. Those really are your four options. For me personally, um, I like something that's simple and easy to put in. And the septic tank converter is. It has to be government approved, the septic tank converter is. And I'm... I'm this is like a, a, a gold kind of standard product. It's, it's German made. They're one of the, it's a very high end quality product, but because the government are promoting them at the moment, and I'm doing a promotion as well, they're, I've knocked a thousand quid off the price at the moment. They're just an ideal solution. So I wanted to share that with you. So look, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this broadcast today. I hope it's helped you, or at least helped you see your way and understand a little bit more about what the septic tank ban is all about. So listen, thank you very much, as I said, for watching this broadcast. Have a great day, and um, I'll see you soon.